Ricardo, the, the home of cup football cup for football its 11-year history. history. We welcome you we to welcome the National Panasonic, Panasonic, Panasonic Cup Final of 1984. 1984. A big crowd in attendance, and it has been thoroughly entertained by the Australian Cowgirls, and of course, the Commonwealth Bank Cup Final has just uh, been played between St Gregory's Campbelltown and Lewisham Christian Brothers. A magnificent scene, one of high expectation and excitement as Wally Lewis and his boys come to Leichhardt to hopefully take away their very first cup final. They came here in 1979 without success against Cronulla, but as I say good evening to you and welcome you to our cup final, they go in against Eastern Suburbs, the undisputed champions of nighttime football here in Sydney. This is their fourth cup final, the Roosters. They've won twice, they bowed out on the third occasion, but they certainly have laid claims to being the champion side when it comes to our cup football. And so we have Eastern Suburbs, the underdogs no doubt tonight, taking on probably the best rugby league team anywhere in the world if one can go on the records before us at the moment. They've accounted for New South Wales and the state of origin and they've also put behind them teams like South Canterbury and Parramatta. But that's how Eastern Suburbs came to this cup final with a relatively easy draw. They defeated Queensland country, New South Wales country, but then it was a guts effort by Eastern Suburbs to bowl over St George by 22 to 10. And it was in that match that everybody realized the red, white and blues wanted the $120,000 of first prize money on offer tonight. And so there's the Eastern Suburbs side bearing a very similar appearance to the one that defeated St George, Atkins, McKellar, Ferguson, Leggett, Green, Eden, Gale, Hastings, Wheeler, Regan, Dane Sorensen, Ernie Garland and Paul Dunn. Brisbane, as I said, they had a very, very hard road coming down to this cup final, their second ever. They took on South at Lang Park, they beat them 25-18 and who'll ever forget that very controversial clash. Then they took on the Premiership frontrunners, the Canterbury Bulldogs, and they beat them, again in controversial circumstances, but they earned their victory by 14 to 11. But in my mind, their best win was over Parramatta on Sydney soil at Leichhardt by 14 points to 12 over Parramatta. As uh, far as I'm concerned, whichever way you want to look at it, this Brisbane side is certainly a champion one. Scott, Kilroy, Rebo, Meninga, Miles and Lewis today described as the mean machine. Foster, Linda, Fullerton Smith, Niebling, Paulson, Muller and Dowling. It certainly is a very awesome lineup for Eastern Suburbs to take on tonight. Bill Anderson will join me in just a few moments time. I haven't spoken to him, but I believe that this is going to be a very, very big task for Eastern Suburbs to take out the Cup Final. 120,000 to the winner, 83,000 to the runner-up. Bill will join me for the commentary in just a moment and we'll be into the action of the National Panasonic Cup 1984 in just a second or so. To our television audience at home and to our patrons here at Leichhardt Oval, welcome to the 1984 National Panasonic Cup. And indeed, my pleasure to introduce you to now the players representing the Roosters of Eastern Suburbs, their fullback number one, Graham Atkins. <laughs> Wing three quarter and captain number two, Shane McKellar. Playing a number three jumper in the centres, Glenn Leggett. His partner for tonight, wearing the number four, David Green. On the other wing, the number five, John Ferguson. At 5 8 tonight, Rothman's medalist, 1983, Michael Eden. The halfback is Scott Gale. Lock forward, veteran of many, many great matches for the Tricolors, Kevin Hastings. Number nine, the talented and youthful Mark Wheeler. In the second row, at number 10, the hard-hitting Terry Regan. In 11, at prop forward, Dane Sorensen. Their hooker, number 12, is Ernie Garland. And 13, the other front row forward, Paul Dunn. The Eastern Suburbs on the field for their fourth cup final which started back in 74. They've 
course, enjoyed success in 75 and 78. Let's have a look now at the combined Brisbane side. Number one and fullback, Colin Scott. On one wing in number two, Joe Kilroy. And then three, the centre is Mal Meninga. Number four, his centre partner, Gene Miles. On the other wing, in five jumper, John Rebo. At six and five eighths, their captain, the great Wally Lewis. Number seven is Henry Foster. In eight is Bob Linder. The second row combination of nine, Wally Fullerton Smith. And ten, Brian Neebling. In 11, Richard Paulson. 12 is Eddie Muller. And 13, the other prop forward and Australian rep, Greg Darling. Referee for tonight's cup final is Mr. Chris Ward. So we're standing by now for the playing of the national anthem. Which will, which will set the final stage for the inaugural National Panasonic Cup Final worth just over $200,000 in prize money. How do you see it going, Bill Anderson? Well, I'd have to favour Brisbane. Uh, they've beaten all comers so far this year, but Eastern Suburbs are night football specialists and they're capable of causing an upset. Lewis just laying down the final set of instructions that would have been given to him by Bob uh, McCarthy. He'd be just reinforcing his coach's desires. Stand by now for the playing of the national anthem. serve up the best on Network 10 Australia. Here it is, the final of the National Panasonic Cup with Brian Niebling taking the shallow kick off and Miles, I thought could have really taken that ball but he elected to try and take it on the toe. It's picked up and played by Garland and running away from centre is David Green out of the dummy half position. And now with Dane Sorensen. Garland at dummy half in 12. A decoy run to the open, back to Scott Gale, who puts in the kick for touch. The crowd for eyes. As uh, Colin Scott covers it and brings it back. Oh, and he ran into the shoulder of Regan. Regan got a shoulder hit on Scott. Rebo tackled a dummy half. Dummy half is money. Well, oh, and Richard Paulson again ran into the shoulder of the Eastern Suburbs front row forward done. Terry Regan looks like a man on a mission tonight. Every time a Brisbane player's look like bringing the ball up, he's driven himself into him, body and soul. So the kick ahead was from Gene Miles. It came off the leg of Graham Atkins and their captain Shane McKellar tries to make the split and he got away from Wally Fullerton Smith, which is a good trick in itself. And he lost the ball. Is McKellar OK? He's fine, he just lost the ball in the tackle and the scrum, the first of the night, goes down just a couple of metres on eastern suburb side of halfway. A big hit by Regan in the first tackle probably has unfolded the final message from Coach Laurie Fryer. Hit them hard, hit them often, try and bustle them. They're a good side and you've got to do that. 
Scott gets a kick in. Will it find touch? Kick the head by Kilroy. Over the dead ball line. And I'll tell you what, if it hadn't have gone dead in goal, it would have been a try. Kilroy had towed the, uh, the ball, had been put ahead for him. Kilroy, so Kilroy soccered the ball in goal. And we can see here that he's got virtually no defence around him, but the ball went dead over the in goal area. But he was that far in front of him, I would have thought he would have made an attempt to pick it up. It was as if he thought, I'm offside anyway, I'm just here on a cheap go. Anyway, it's Eastern Suburbs now. The ball played back to Garland. Dunn takes it ahead, a gain of about 10 metres. He's tackled there by Niebling in the number 10 jumper. Across now to the right of the field, and Dane Sorensen has made about five or six metres. Miles is working in close in defence, together with Richard Paulson in 11. Garland goes to the open, tries to turn it back, gets under the tackle of Niebling, gets away from another, pulled down by Darling, just near the halfway line. Once again, we can see Wally Lewis adopting that non-traditional role of a 5'8", playing back as a sweep of organising the Brisbane defence, rather than being in the front line. So the kick ahead and Rebo puts it down the moment he played at the ball. All players are able to go in and make the tackle and Rebo has been ordered as making a knock on and so a scrum will go down with an Eastern Suburbs loose and an Eastern Suburbs feed on the Brisbane 22 line. Fed by Scott Gale. Won by East. Hastings picks it up at the back of the scrum. McKellar is tackled. No, he's not. He's away from Rebo. Losing that ball may have unsettled Rebo. Mike Eden told me in Eyewitness News yesterday they'd be kicking a lot and certainly high to Rebo and Scott. Now, the number nine for Eastern Suburbs is Mark Wheeler and he'll play at about 15 or 16 metres from the Brisbane line. Dane Sorensen takes it ahead just outside the 10 metre line. Played back for Garland, to the blind for Gale, to Eden, to Dunn. And Dunn is brought down by Foster. A David and Goliath duel from Eden, a dummy half to Gale. He goes off his left foot and runs into traffic. He's pulled down on the fifth. So the bomb will come from Horry Hastings in the number eight. He swings it, uh, swings it blind to Eden. Eden puts the bomb up. It's not a good one. It went right across the ground. It came off Meninga. Knocked backwards. This will be play on for Brisbane. A couple of metres out from their own line. Well, from that passage of play, it's fairly obvious what Eastern Suburbs are going to work their game plan around. It's going to be a very big kicking game through Hastings, Eden and Gale, whereas uh, Brisbane, no doubt, are going to base their game on their very big and fast outside backs, such as Meninga, Miles and Rebo. Penalty to Brisbane. Miles taking the kick for line. A windless night in Sydney. Beautiful night. And the cup again has attracted quite a big crowd. Paulson playing it. This is Foster, a short ball for Dowling. And Wheeler is around the legs, Regan over the top. Off comes the headband from Dowling. And now it's Brian Niebling. Eastern Suburbs markers will have to watch themselves. They're breaking very quickly from that marker area, probably before the ball's even been played. And, of course, they'll incur a penalty if they continue to do that. Lewis! Lewis is into a hole. He's found Miles. Backing up is Linda. Linda's looking for the line. Gets a pass. That could still be a try, I think. Meninga has dropped it over the line. And I'm sure absolutely positive that Chris Ward was going to give a try if Meninga had have taken the ball cleanly because it went to ground it went to ground from Linda and I think it came off the legs of Meninga, it certainly did and it was just there that he dropped it that the try went begging Your call was spot on Ray, it was going to be a try all the way, he kicked the ball ahead Meninga, when the ball bounced up to him was unable to hold it and score what would have been the opening try for Brisbane. So real troubles for Eastern Suburbs typified by Wally Lewis he was into an opening as quick as you could say Jack Robinson and uh, Eastern Suburbs as much as they want to tackle in around the forward exchanges they've got to find a way to stop Wally Lewis and let me tell you there's been 20 try and 20 fail and that's something we haven't seen from Lewis all that much in the past. We're used to seeing him opening up games by using his kicking game, playing back as a sweeper in defence and putting players into gaps with passes. But on this occasion, he decided he was going to run with the ball himself and boy, doesn't he create a handful of problems when he decides to do that. So Scott Gale, his nearest rival in the National Superstar points, Scott in the number seven for East. Wally Lewis leading on nine points, however.
comes to Dane Sorensen. He'll play it about 10 metres into Brisbane Territory. For Gale to give a short ball to Dunn, and Dunn goes ahead. He's young, he's enthusiastic, and he's game. But I'm wondering if those qualities are enough against a side as good as this. Terry Regan losing it, and Brisbane capitalising on an East mistake. And tackle with it is Fullerton Smith. The dummy half is Muller. And this is Lewis now. Again going for a run, but uh, Scott Gale had him around the legs. Played back for Paulson. He swivels off and tries to get away from dummy half. He stands. The ball is with Lewis, and that'll be six more. It is from uh, referee Chris Ward on his biggest assignment to date, looking after a cup final. A good strong run by Brian Niebling has ended in the tackle of Dunn. Sorensen played a, a, a minor part. Foster turning it back on the inside and Dowling is tackled right near the halfway by Wheeler. Brisbane now, rucking play towards the halfway. Lewis spins it back on the inside and this is Colin Scott. They're just into East Territory now. And I'd say that's four tackles gone. No score in the 1984 Cup Final. Lewis stabs the ball. He's looking to find touch inside the 22. He won't. Ferguson has it covered. And here's John Ferguson now. Away from two. Inside a third. And away from a fourth. A good run by Ferguson. Well, he's the best broken, real, broken field runner in football, Ferguson. And he can't be given any room to move. And the penalty goes to the Sydney side, Eastern Suburbs. Against Brisbane inside the five. And the crowd again roar. Nil all in the cup final. Twelve minutes of the first quarter remaining. takes the line finder and finds it 15 metres into Brisbane's area. The tap will be taken by Ernie Garland. It's with Dane Sorensen. He's handed it back to Garland, who is away from Muller, his opposite number. Now he's run into Darling and coming in is Kilroy. Dummy half is Kevin Hastings. Away for Gale, swept onto Regan. And a pretty heavy confrontation there between Regan and two of his opposite forwards. Dane Sorensen, as East play it pretty simple, pretty safe, working it inside the 22. Probably waiting to put it up off the boot of Eden or Hastings. They've got plenty of kickers. Hastings, a run around with Eden, then a cutout ball, beautifully executed play. And Atkins is tackled 20 metres out from the Brisbane line. Play on the hillside of Leichhardt. From Gale across and hitting it up hard is Wheeler. Five tackles are gone now for the Roosters. Played back to Garland. The charges have gone in. The kick has gone up from Gale. The chases are there. It's raked back favourably for East. There's a chance on for the Roosters, but it's a penalty to Brisbane. Penalty to Brisbane. The East players were ruled in front of the kicker and therefore cannot go inside the five. Shane McKellar, one of the chief offenders. David Green was the other. And referee Chris Ward had no hesitation and was very sure in his ruling. Tap taken by Rebo. Dummy half is Muller. Ahead goes Fullerton Smith with the score 0-0. Eastern Suburbs and combined Brisbane. Paulson with a good strong run. Gale right around the bootlaces, Garland over the top, and so they continue this charge upfield with very simple forward play and then the halfback, and Foster plays it. It'll come back now to the left of the ground where Lewis was jinking and looking to make an opening, but he's brought down on five. Miles away from dummy half, an ominous sign. There was no marker defence. Ferguson takes it on the feet. Atkins brings it back. Gets to Miles, away from Miles, inside another. Good run by Atkins. Out to the 32-metre point. Plays it back to Hastings. It's gone to Dane Sorensen. And Dane is tackled by Fullerton Smith and by Paulson. Across now for Dunn and the eastern suburbs. Get a pass back to Garland. Garland back to Gale. Gale has made an opening. Gale has gone inside 32. Picks up Horry Hastings. Kevin gets a pass away to Garland. Garland is tackled. Scott Gale was almost home and running free. And who was backing him up? 
the best in the business, probably Kevin Hastings, but those legs don't go as fast these days. This is Glenn Leggett. He's 15 metres out from the Brisbane line on five. Regan puts up the bomb. It's not too bad. Dunn's underneath it. So is Kilroy, and Kilroy does well for Brisbane. Kilroy plays it about six metres out from his line, and Foster comes away with it, but Garland makes the hit. We saw an example in that passage of play that Eastern Suburbs is certainly not over, overawed by the situation and one of their young players, Scott Gale, almost broke free and had he been able to get back into, into stride, there's no way that anyone would have caught him from behind and now it's Brisbane's turn to work play out of this danger zone. Played by Dowling. Muller comes away with it, looks to hit it back but he gets a smack over the back there from Wheeler who's going in with great venom. They're hitting with everything they've got, Eastern Suburbs. They're playing just as one would have expected. They've been in deplorable form really for the greater part of the Winfield Premiership and they realise that this is their chance to redeem themselves, do something for their retiring coach Laurie Fryer and set the foundation for Arthur Beetson. The ball is played by Wheeler, it's to the open side for Regan and by Jove I'll tell you what there's plenty of there's plenty of shoulder in these tackles. Linda got a good one in on Regan on the halfway through Gale to Hastings, shapes to kick and does, and he never misses. Well, very seldom anyway does he miss, and he's found the touchline 25 metres out from the Brisbane line. We'll have the golden tries in their correct order for you at half time. So if you've got an entry in for our viewers' prize, the Japan Airlines trip to Japan and Los Angeles, stay with me at half time in the scrum eastern suburbs but they've got the penalty he's seen it as an incorrect feed and given the penalty to the roosters so the differential goes to eastern suburbs just outside the 22 six minutes in front of quarter time a chance for east to pile on some pressure the tap is to be taken by garland let's see what they've got Garland hits it up and kills it for one. Sorensen is now the dummy half. Gale shapes to give it open. They go blind and done. Gets the ball into Ferguson. Ferguson is very close to the line. Three metres out from the line. Spun to Gale. Gone to Wheeler. Now to Eden. This is Leggett. Glenn Leggett away and standing. I thought he was going to give it. He's tackled on the 10 metre line. Eastern Suburbs looking good. Sorensen goes ahead very, very strongly. Just back from the New Zealand victory over Great Britain in the Test Series. Plays it back for Regan to give a long, long ball. Out to Eden, then to Hastings. And coming inside is David Green. But around the legs and holding him tight was the hooker Muller. Five gone, the bomber's probably coming. Hastings goes for it off the left foot. East go through, Brisbane defend. Oh, Scott has lost it. Gale has got it for Eastern Suburbs. That's the turnover. He's ruled a turnover, and Brisbane come away with it. And it's with Lewis. That surprises me. I thought Colin Scott played at the ball, and dead set got a touch on it, and it should have been six more tackles. But Chris Ward, he was right on, on, on the line. He was right with it and he ruled that it was the turnover, indicating that Brisbane hadn't come in contact with the ball. And Brisbane are giving me the impression that they're a little bit surprised, they're a bit shell-shocked by this onslaught from Eastern Suburbs. Maybe there is a little bit of overconfidence in their camp. Miles, an infield pass for Rebo. It went behind him. Paulson gets it, sweeps it away for Linda. He kicks on the inside. It's bouncing around, picked up by Wheeler. Wheeler tries to go to the halfway. He's flung to the ground on America round tackle from Dowling. The ball played there, centre ground. David Green says there's seven or eight metres to be picked up, and he takes it. Sorensen goes into dummy half, gives a short ball for Dunn. Dunn does well, gets it back for Gale. Gale through another gap. Gale's still going. Wally Lewis is there to bring him down. 32 metres out from the Brisbane line. Right back by Lewis. It's gone to ground, and the referee orders play on as Meninga goes for a run. Regan goes in and hits him very hard. Regan is hitting with everything he's got. Man on a mission tonight, Terry Regan. But wasn't that a great break by Scott Gale? He, he nullified it all with a bad play of the ball. But to my mind, Gale is the man that's making inroads through the centre of the ruck and through the fringe of the rucks for Eastern Suburbs. And Brisbane are going to need to watch him closely. Penalty to Brisbane. 
10 metres that side of halfway, about three and a half minutes out from the quarter break. We welcome viewers right around Australia and in fact uh, up the coast as far as Cairns in the north to you people up there watching welcome we hope you're enjoying it Australian Capital Territory with us tonight in Canberra a real growth center for rugby league thanks very much to the Ferna Raiders going ahead is Dowling oh gee that was a big hit Dowling's not too well now the referee has ordered a knock on the crowd showing their displeasure at the order that was a very heavy hit on the Australian prop Greg Darling Gale to feed it it's in and it'll be a penalty to uh, Eastern Suburbs well now he's got Dowling for getting down in the scrum I gotta be honest with you in the last two scrums I've called I was thought he was gonna get East on the previous occasion for the hooker down and he gave it uh, gave the penalty to them and then I thought he was going to get Gale for an, a second row feed and again he gave it to Eastern Suburbs going into this match tonight the national Panasonic superstar award points Wally Lewis in front on nine Scott Gale on seven and he's the only man that can catch Wally Lewis in the superstar points tonight and at the moment He'd be out pointing the uh, Australian 5 8th and captain. Eden, a cutout ball for McKellar around the back. McKellar probes for the opening, finds Leggett. Leggett goes ahead, inside the 32, inside the 25, and Leggett will play the ball for Eastern Suburb. And where they are now is where all the play has been for this opening quarter. Eden, across to Gale, now to Atkins, makes the extra man in the back line, although they're well and truly outnumbered, and Atkins will play it. Incidentally, should points in the Superstar Series be tied, the tiebreaker comes back to the major number of points scored in the Cup Final. So it's a cross now for Ferguson. Ferguson! 18 metres out. That's the fourth tackle for the Roosters. Sorensen hits it in to the centre of the ground. I wouldn't be surprised if they... Drop goal, Eastern Suburbs. It's fed back for Hastings to go for the field goal. He's got it. It's a goal. Eastern Suburbs lead in the cup final by one to nil. Laurie Fryer heading down for the quarter time break, which is only seconds away. Kevin Hastings, as cool as a cucumber, popping a drop goal. And East lead one nil. After 20 minutes of time. Meninga restarts, but that's all we'll have time for. Gale takes it back as the siren sounds. And Scott Gale, who's been the star of the first 20 minutes, is put down. And so, Eastern Suburbs with a drop goal to Kevin Hastings, lead Brisbane after 20 minutes, 1-0. Dictator here tonight, Terry Buck the recently returned Australian head swim coach from Los Angeles. Welcome home, Terry. And in fact, welcome home to all our Olympians. Fantastic effort. You've done us proud. Many of you, I know, watching this telecast tonight. Bringing it back as Atkins. Just inside the 22 line. This is Wheeler. Scott Gale. Short ball for Regan. Dane Sorensen. There's no doubt that Brisbane have been surprised by the start that Eastern Suburbs have made and they're going to need to recover their composure because the further this match goes, the further Eastern Suburbs are going to grow in confidence and that can only be good news for them and bad news for the Northerners. Well taken by Kilroy, the kick by Atkins and Kilroy is well taken by Leggett and Hastings. He plays it back and it's with the number one, which is Colin Scott. He's about five or six metres into Eastern Suburbs territory. 
plays it back to Muller. It's gone across to Foster, then Lewis, and now Meninga. Meninga stands, gets it to Miles. Miles is into a very big space. There's a chance on for Brisbane, but Gale is around the legs again. He's made many of those tackles. Scott Gale in the opening 20 minutes. This is Wally Fullerton Smith now. About 12 metres out from the eastern suburbs line, and this is where Brisbane, and I guess most rugby league sides, are at their most dangerous. Just close to the line, and it'll be played here by... Brian Liebling on the last. From dummy half goes Muller and he's tackled. Well, that was a fairly negative piece of football from Brisbane. I'm not sure that Muller realised that it was the last tackle. That's all I can read into it, that Muller was unaware that it was the fifth tackle and he's decided to take a settler, but he was one too late. So it's played by Wheeler. And this is done. And he's restarted the tackle count to Chris Ward. Here's Garland trailing through like a drover's dog talking about Kevin Hastings earlier as a, a supporter of the ball carrier, one of the most crucial fundamentals in the game, supporting the ball carrier, and Kevin Hastings has been a long-time servant of that philosophy. I guess he was wishing earlier that he just had a, a set of younger legs when Gale made that bust in the first quarter. Here's Wheeler. And they've done pretty well with four tackles to get it midway between 22 and halfway. East end of the ground, the switch and it's Gale who puts the kick in and it's bouncing down near the 32 metre line and Colin Scott brings it back he's met by Dunn and Gale and Scott to play it 7 or 8 metres his side of the halfway and it's put down by Kilroy and a scrum 7 or 8 metres on Brisbane side of the halfway well that, that there is a perfect example of what it's all about ruck it out, then kick it, then tackle and hope for the mistake and that's exactly what happened then and Eastern Suburbs are forcing that mistake you're talking about, Ray, because they've got a swarming defence and they're putting a lot of heat, a lot of pressure on the on the Brisbane ball carriers. Graham Atkins to play. Marked very closely by his opposite number, Colin Scott, to the blind. And uh, Hastings, he couldn't have picked a harder place to try and make an opening, but he went back in between the markers and eventually they nabbed him. It's come across to Regan and... I've said it before, I'll say it again. He plays about a stone over his... He's playing weight as far as heart and guts is concerned. Leggett. This fellow's going to be good, Leggett. Green. Green has wrestled to the ground by Miles. And David, who came out of St. Gregory's Campbelltown, watched his side earlier tonight. I hesitate to give you the final score in that match because I know a lot of viewers will stay with us to watch that later tonight. Gale puts the kick up very high. There's a chance on for the Roosters. Oh, Scott, he's put it down. Oh, Leggett is knocked on. I think that would have been a certain try, but Colin Scott is in terrible pain. He's clutching at his right arm, Colin Scott. He's in awful pain, the Brisbane fullback. Leggett simply had to pick up the ball and put it over the try line. But it's no use crying bad luck. I'm sure they're calling for a replacement for Cole Scott. The trainer fears the worst, I'm almost sure. Yeah, the call for the stretcher, Ray. As Scott fell, his arm was out and all his body weight uh, went onto his arm and one can only think the worst that he may have a fracture. Yes, it would seem that way. Scott's in a tremendous amount of pain out there. He, he, he had it, then lost it, and it looks like he's fallen on that arm. And Leggett only had to pick up that ball. He would have had Kilroy to beat. And I was about to say, it's no use crying bad luck Eastern Suburbs because we were talking at quarter time about um, two chances that, Eastern, that, that Brisbane put down in the first 20 minutes. Bob McCarthy talking now with his replacement. It'll be Tony Curry in 14 to go on. Eastern Suburbs staff out there to help with the injured Colin Scott. I thought it was the tackle on Scott that might have done the damage, but it looks like he's simply fallen on his arm, and that's where the damage has been done. Well, what a shame for the Brisbane fullback. Scoreline, Eastern Suburbs 1, Brisbane yet to score in the $203,000 National Panasonic Cup Final.
Dr. Neil Halpin is the man in the, uh, the suit. Eastern Suburbs doctor. As you can see, the Eastern Suburbs staff are helping the Brisbane trainers with the St. John's men. And there, I guess, is a perfect picture of what sport is, is all about or should be all about. And what a tragedy for Colin Scott and for Brisbane. That probably will simply give the Brisbane boys even greater drive now. Regan goes up. He's met by a very willing defensive line. Eight metres out, right in front of the uprights. Garland, Gale, Hastings, a cutout ball, a touch by Brisbane. Six more tackles, says referee Chris Ward. But they've lost it. Brisbane come up with it. Ball to be played by Richard Paulson. It is, and away comes Joe Kilroy. He's put down 15 out from the Brisbane line. Dummy half, Muller. Running it up now is Niebling. He reaches the 22-metre line. Sorensen and Wheeler making the tackle. And goodness gracious, how many tackles has Wheeler made? This is Lewis now, who's put down after making a run of eight metres. And a penalty goes to the Brisbane side. And Scott Gale is injured. Terry Regan was the man who brought the penalty against Eastern Suburbs. Lewis charging ahead. A 5'8 who can play it as tough as any of the best forwards. And the line finder will see the tap taken five metres into Eastern Suburbs area. You're watching the National Panasonic Cup final. Six minutes gone, second quarter. And Joe Kilroy hit by the defence. Curry had it. He lost it. Eastern Suburbs have got it on the halfway. Played by Eden. A quick stretch required. But Sorensen goes back and puts in a settler. It's gone away for Hastings and on to Garland. Garland looks for the opening, but Bobby Linder is there to put him down. Dislocated elbow is the, uh, the um, report on Colin Scott. A dislocated elbow. Ball played by John Ferguson. Dunn goes ahead. The Brisbane defence solid, but look at Dunn. He's not very old, but he's got tremendous potential. Garland plays it, right for Sorensen, short for Regan. Regan pulled down and tackled by a very heavy hit. Carlson was low, Miles was up the top. The touch judge has gone in, the referee has called timeout. There could have been an elbow in this one. Let's see what the touch judge says. It involves one of the main machines, Gene Miles. Well, there it is. The touch judge is reporting the swinging arm, and then he went down with the elbow. So Miles is simply getting a warning. But let me say, I've seen them go for less. Terry Regan. A penalty to Eastern Suburbs. Eden will take the kick. And he's a sharp shooter, this fellow. Ambassador for the game is Mike Eden. Rossman's medalist 1983. He spent plenty of matches this year in reserve grade. But as I said, he's a wonderful ambassador for the game. Territorially, Eastern Suburbs have had by far the better oh, of the match. Oh, must be 85%. Well, and as long as they continue to stay there, if they can come up with a few penalties with a sharp shooter like Eden in their side, they've got to be a chance of kicking goals. The kick is hooking. He's missed it. No, he's got it. Eden has kicked it from 35 metres out. Eastern Suburbs 3. Brisbane get the score. Lewis with the quick kick off. It's going down to the Fox. Shane McKellar and outside the 22 he comes. I wonder what's flooding through his mind as he looks at the scoreboard. He leads this side. Shane McKellar. And they lead in a cup final 3-0. And he has been around the trap, Shane McKellar. In fact, a couple of clubs didn't want him. They had the house full sign up for Shane McKellar, but he's, he's rubbing plenty in their faces at the moment. He'd be probably saying, ring that bell. So that was a bad piece of football then, with East trying to kick the ball instead of diving on it. That's bad football by the Tricolors. Here's Gene Miles getting something for the kitchen, and it's more than just coincidental that Terry Regan was one of his tacklers. Well, this is one of the first opportunities, I'd say, in the last 20 minutes of play that uh, the Brisbane have had a, a chance to put any pressure on Eastern Suburbs. So now let's see what they can do. Can they control the ball and can they come up with a, with a possible try-scoring opportunity? Lewis losing the ball. It was six tackles nullified to the referee. Meninga looks for an opening. Gets the ball away to Rebo. Rebo! Rebo is 
short of the line. The referee went to ground. The referee had a worm's eye view of it. But it's gone out on a long ball and a knock on. And a Brisbane mistake. Eastern suburbs are playing frustrating football. And at the moment, it's paying off for them. That was hurried play by Brisbane, and it was hurried play that wasn't necessary. They had a two or three man overlap on the left hand side of the field. Their inside players didn't. David Green! Green has made a bust. He's outside 45 to the halfway, and Ferguson has dropped it. A try butchered by Eastern Suburbs. A great, play, a great break by David Green. He had Ferguson on his right hand side. Ferguson, one of the fastest players in the game, was completely unmarked. Green didn't see him until it was too late and threw a hurried pass. It went over the right shoulder of Ferguson, and a try bombed. So the scrum fed by Brisbane, just on the east side of halfway. Penalties, 4-1 to East, or beg your pardon, 5-1 to East. Now 5-2 as Brisbane get a penalty. 3-0 the scoreline. A goal and a drop goal for East. Chris Ward just dusting his knees after falling. Scrums are five. I beg your pardon, the penalty count is five all. I was reading that count upside down completely. Five all the penalties and three one the scrums to Eastern Suburbs. Well, as we move into the uh, in the second ten minutes of this second quarter of the play, it's about time that Wally Lewis started to do something, and he's the player that Brisbane will be looking to. We can see him now moving into that uh, that first off the ruck role, where he'll take the first pass, and Foster's moving out the second pass off the ruck. Well, w Wally Lewis has tackled about seven metres out from his line. He wouldn't be very happy with Muller. Muller got in his way, but he's over. That's a try scored by Wally Lewis from dummy half. He made it look all so simple. Let's have a look and see it. Lewis, I'm sure the actual play that they had organised fell apart because Muller got in the road. And then Lewis gets up, he plays the ball, and you can play the ball in any direction. And he did that, and he scored. The Eastern Suburbs players complained about it, and maybe they did have some cause for complaint. Kevin Hastings felt that he had taken up a marker position, which would have meant that Lewis had handled the ball in the ruck. The referee was in a better position than we were, but that's one they will talk about. No, I disagree with you, Bill. I disagree with you. If there's any complaint about the Lewis try, it would be, was he facing goal to goal? You can play the ball in any direction, and once it's cleared to play the ball, you can pick it up. And I don't think there's any question about the try in that area. I think the only question is, was he facing goal, goal? The kick by Meninga. Oh, he's missed it. That was an easy one for Meninga. And they've lost Colin Scott into the bargain. 4-3 to Brisbane in the cup final. Michael Eden. Now, can East come back and keep this contest well and truly alive? This is Tony Curry. Oh, he's gone straight through. And has tackled about 12 metres short of the halfway. Play back to Daly. Across the ground, he picks up um, Fullerton Smith. He's dropped it. Gee, they're coughing up some ball. Regan comes up with it. Hastings, dummies blind. Goes open to Gale. And Gale is tackled by Paulson. Well, Brisbane look particularly dangerous whenever they do get the ball into the eastern suburbs quarter. There's no doubt that they've got a lot of attacking potential in their side, but the big problem they're having, Ray, is just getting the ball there. They're not getting it there simply because they're making unforced handling errors. Here's a penalty to eastern suburbs. Brisbane inside the five. This is an easier one than previously for Michael Eden. Yes, it's a brave side that'll give penalties away when Mike Eden's in the opposition. Eight minutes of the second quarter to go. Places the ball, just has a look at the sticks. It's 24 metres out. Hits it with a short approach. He's got it. Michael Eden has put Eastern Suburbs back in the lead. Eastern Suburbs leading 5-4. Let's go back and have a look at the Lewis try. The, the try that he scored, tapping ahead. Let's watch it now. And I guess what I mentioned to you earlier was certainly the area that East were complaining about. Was the man playing the ball facing goal goal? Let me reiterate, you can play the ball in any direction you like. 
That's the only area of controversy over the try scored by Wally Lewis, in my opinion. Leggett plays it now back on the East 22 line. 5-4, East by a point. You see where Wally Lewis found himself then. Very often he goes to marker, and when he does, there obviously is no one back. The fullback's particularly deep, and I think Eastern Suburbs could employ a chip over the top when Lewis is at marker, because Brisbane have no cover defence on those tackles. Brisbane playing with just one marker, and Lewis in that cover defence role between the front line and the fullback, and that's where it's going right now, between Curry and Rebo, and he's played at the ball, so... Eastern Suburbs allowed to go in and do whatever they like now in defence. And Curry is tackled about 28 metres out from his own line. Plays it back to Rebo, and Rebo decides to go for a run. McKellar and Wheeler are in there to make the tackle, but it was a good piece of ground made by John Rebo. Off from dummy half goes Muller, and he runs into Regan and Gale, who's having one heck of a game, the little fellow. Away from the prop pulse and it's gone out to Miles and Miles is smothered by Hastings and Garland played by Miles given by Lewis it's out with Foster Foster crosses the halfway he's met by the defense five gone for Brisbane and uh, they'll be looking for the line I would think on the scoreboard side it's with Lewis he puts a little chip over the top and uh, beautifully taken by the hooker Ernie Garland no I shouldn't have said that I put the hex on him he's put it down but it's come away with Eastern Suburbs nevertheless played by David Green off from dummy half goes Kevin Hastings with the head down he knows plenty about cup football in fact I haven't got uh, an access to the 75 cup final but I've got a funny feeling that Kevin was in that 75 east side that won the cup final Kevin Hastings, has he seen some of this type of football and he knows exactly what the disappointments are like just as he would the celebrations. In fact, I think he was in the east side when Russell Fairfax missed that $64,000 kick that night. If Russell's watching, he'll be saying, oh, please don't remind me of it again. Here's Curry now, coming back from his own 22 with a good strong run and he's pulled down by McKellar and David Green. 10 metres on the Brisbane side of the halfway. It's with Meninga and Meninga goes into the... Field of play, went around behind Gene Miles and the crowd called for an obstruction, but there was no defence line there. And now it's with Fullerton Smith and he reaches the halfway and is pulled down by Regan with East leading by five to four and four minutes remaining of the first half. This is Brian Neebling and Regan and Wheeler. Wheeler and Regan, they're hunting as a pair. It sounds like a firm of solicitors, doesn't it? Regan, Wheeler and company. They're just going in in gang tackles, the two of them. Wheeler, Fed Ingham, he's made enough tackles in the first half to do him for the entire match. And now Brisbane get a penalty. So Meninga will probably take the shot. He's 42 metres out right in front. He's almost certainly got to take it. He's got the length, that's for sure. Lewis says, take the kick. Meninga says, are you sure? And he's, uh, he's almost been forced into this, Mel, I reckon. He looked at Lewis twice and said, are you sure? Ray, while you've been saying that, I've noticed that Mike Eden went over to the captain of the Eastern Suburbs side, Shane McKellar, and had long to talk to him. There's no doubt in my mind that what he was saying to Shane McKellar was, I think you should say something to the referee. We're giving away a lot of penalties. Go and clear up the situation with him. Lewis has just called Rebo over for a quick, uh, a quick chat. He's probably told Rebo, get in the middle of the ground and chase this like you've never chased before. John Rebo to Brissac. Well, Meninga may very well kick this one, but my word, it's been a problem area that Brisbane have had all year. They've been able to come up with a regular, consistent goal kicker, and with Scott off the field, they haven't got a backup. There's the kick. It's high, it's long, and it's straight between the uprights. And Brisbane go back to the lead by 6-5. to five. Boy, they can't stay this close together for much longer, can they? First half that's had everything. Michael Eden placing it. Eden restarting it. Oh dear, oh dear. Tony Curry making an awful mistake. He did the right thing too, you know. He tried to take the ball on the full just like you should and he's put it down it wasn't one of those diving spectacular catches it was a pretty simple one for him fed out the same tunnel tony curry replaced colin scott who we believe has a dislocated elbow or oh, scrum one against the feed was it and 
it's Foster who's going to play it about 10 metres out from the Brisbane line. And uh, Bob Linda to play it. Dummy half is Muller. And now it's with uh, Richard Paulson. They have been making good inroads with their ruck play, Brisbane. That's why you haven't seen them go back for the long kick. Is Lewis prepared to run the ball and he gives it to Fullerton Smith but he's run into the shoulder of Regan and Leggett. That's five gone so you can see they've brought it from three metres out from their own line down to the 40 metre line with ruck football. No need for the kick and here's McKellar back with Atkins and now it's McKellar who takes it ahead. Outside the 22 looking to make the split. Oh gee, McKellar. Can he pick up a runner? But it's too late now. You might have guessed who pulled him down. Wally Lewis out to Sorensen. On to Gale. This is Leggett. And Leggett has pulled down about three metres on his side of the halfway. We've got about 30 seconds of time remaining as Ferguson tries to make the, uh, the break. But Miles is there in cover. Played by him, it's gone to Garland, over to Gale, now to Eden. Short ball for Dunn, and Dunn is tackled about three or four metres on his side of the halfway. Across now for Mark Wheeler, and oh gee, he copped, uh, he copped a beautiful shoulder tackle from Fullerton Smith, and that would have hurt him, but he's handed plenty, plenty out himself. Regan now puts up what I call a midfield bomb, looking for a mistake. Kilroy takes it, he's away from Ferguson, and he's tackled by Regan and Gale. And the siren for half time is about to sound as uh, the ball is with the Brisbane team. Henry Foster to play it. And there's the siren as it goes to Wally Lewis. He puts it up in the middle of the ground. There's a Brisbane player down. Whether he has felt in the back play, I'm not certain. Referee Chris Ward calls a halt. And so at half time, this Brisbane side leading Eastern Suburbs by six to five. We'll take a break and then I'll be back to show you the golden tries that we've been showing you for the last few weeks in the successful order. And then also I'll be announcing the player who has created the best try of 1984 in cup football. You take a break, we'll take a break and we'll be back in just a moment. Continue here at Leichhardt during the halftime break in the 1984 cup final as the Australian Rugby League Cowgirls continue to do some magnificent stuff out there. It's time for us to show you the golden tries that I've been running during our halftime break for the last three weeks. You've been asked to place them in their order according to how the judges would finally see them. Well, yesterday at a pre-cup luncheon, the press writers of Sydney and Brisbane did just that. They placed them in their order, and this is the order that I know you at home would be hoping is the way you put them on the back of that envelope. Let's roll the tries, and then we'll have the answer. Duncan Ward. Right, oh, he's picked up Graham perfectly. He's turned it to touch it. That's a great try. 20 metres out from the Canterbury line. Lewis switching the point of the attack, finding Foster. Here are you. Ray Brown pushes it back to Gerard. Gerard it back inside for Chisholm. Now to Glenn Ryan. Steve Bottom has gone for a tackle and missed it. Hegarty's got the ball. They're going to score. Bostad. Bostad has he got it down. I'll tell him that he has. It's hard to believe the tactics, Ray. They've got some of the best attacking backs in the world in Kenny and Ellen. They keep turning the ball back inside away from him. Laurie. Here's the call from Kenny. Kenny to Houghton. Houghton is in to score. Kick ahead by Gary Howe, going straight to Neil Hunt, went straight through his arms, and then he got away from Davies, who went up too fast, much too fast. And now a hand off to Kenny, here's trouble for Penrith. Kenny's up to the 22, the pass has gone to Taylor. Taylor's got a pass back to Edge, can he find anybody? I'll tell you what he can, he's found the zip zip man. Levy, pursued and caught by Kenny, backing up with Speedy Gonzalez. Hunt's down there to cover it up. Now there's a chance for Parramatta. They will run it very quickly. Houghton back into the centre, finds Ella. He's got Kenny coming up on his inside. There's big trouble coming for the Panthers. What a great try. Oh, that's a superb try. So there's the envelope and how it should have looked to be correct. 
Try one was try D, try two was try E, and so forth and so forth. And you just saw them run in the order six down to one. And so let's see who was the lucky viewer out there in television land who's won the magnificent prize from Japan Airlines off to Japan and then to LA. Bruce Hampton of Curry Curry, New South Wales. Congratulations. You've won a fabulous prize, one that I know you're going to enjoy. Flying with Japan Airlines through Japan and on to Los Angeles. Well, yesterday at this press writers luncheon to decide the, the order of those tries, we were obliged, in keeping with our golden tries of the years gone by, to show the press writers not only those six tries, up to and including the last quarterfinal, but also the tries scored during the semi-finals, because, quite obviously, they too would come under the judgment of those press writers for the golden try and the $5,000 in the shape of the cold gold ingot from Carlton and United Breweries. Well, it just so happens that the press writers, after watching those six, plus the tries from the semi-finals, picked a try from the semi-final between St George and Eastern Suburbs. Let's have a look at it. Back to Eden. Eden's found a hole. He's gone through it. The support's coming on his right. He's found Dale on the inside. He passes, he finds Hastings, he scores! Kevin Hastings has scored! Yes, Siri, there it is. The try chosen by the press writers as the Golden Try 1984 came from the East St George semi-final. That man with the ball, Mike Eden, is the KB Cold Gold $5,000 award winner and the money made available, of course, by those great people, those tremendous sponsors at Carlton and United Breweries. And to Michael Eden, on behalf of Carlton and United, it's my pleasure to present you, though you can't hear me at the moment, and I can't shake your hand, Michael, with $5,000. Good luck to you. And so there it is, the golden tries in the order and the winner, Mr. Bruce Hampton, I think his name was, from Curry Curry, and the $5,000 going to Michael Eden, the Eastern Suburbs 5-8. That's the way it is, but in the cup final, let me remind you, it's Brisbane by one point, six to five, and we're back with more league action in just a Like an oval scene with the third quarter about to kick off. Brisbane leading by a point. Mike Eden, at this stage, would still be unaware that he's taken out the $5,000 for creating the Golden Try of 1984. Not that I think it's going to make him play any better. Taking it out as Paulson for Brisbane. Kilroy delivering a beautiful pass to Bob Linda. He got, well, got rid of Scott Gale with a magnificent fend. It's on to Kilroy. Look at Eden coming across, and Eden has made the tackle. Only just, though, let me tell you, that's the department of Mike Eden's game that has got him worried. Lewis holding it back. Short ball. Foster standing, looking to unload. And so it really now depends on Eastern Suburbs and just how committed they are to taking this tremendous first half effort through the match. Down a point. It all comes down, I think, to that word now for them, Bill, commitment. It does. They really don't need to change their game plan all that much on what they've done in the first half. Bomb by Lewis. Atkins had about three looks at it. It's down to Meninga. And six more tackles rules the referee. And that's a bad start for Eastern Suburbs. They wouldn't have hoped for that. Here's Dowling looking for the line. Hitting it up. Falling a couple of metres short. The dummy half is Muller. Spun back to Foster, away from a forward, away from another forward. Lofted ball by Lewis, picking up Linda, given to Kilroy, and he's in the touch. In touch. In fact, he's taken the corner flag. So what? it's out to the 22 for the place kick restart. Wally Lewis was very disappointed in Kilroy's effort, effort there. He was shaking his head in the background, and I think he felt that Kilroy could have dived a little earlier and gone a bit more gallantly for the line than he did. So the place kick taken by Garland. In fact, by Wheeler it was, and this is Garland, a dummy half now. Sorensen. 
nothing flash with Dane. He just keeps taking it up. Same speed, same direction. And with the same amount of determination. Garland playing it now back to Scott Gale. This game's been played at a fast and furious pace, and it wouldn't surprise me if both sides started to execute the inside pass uh, on a number of occasions during the second half of the match. As the defences start to become tired, you find the inside pass becomes increasingly more successful. Tony Curry, who came on during the second quarter, replacing the injured Colin Scott. Curry playing at fullback now for Brisbane. Meninga, a long ball out to Lewis, a shorter ball to Linda, a player of the future. Very good player, Linda. He's left his mark on the 1984 season. And this is Miles receiving plenty of attention. And now it's Fullerton Smith. All oh, three East players go in. Garland came off the worst. In fact, there's another East player down injured. As we find Brisbane just driving on. Two Eastern Suburbs players receiving some attention. Garland is trying to get back into the play. It's out to Miles. Miles puts up the kick. It's across the ground and high. But McKellar takes it safely and he tries to beat them. But he's held by the front row forwards of Dowling and Paulson. Played by McKellar. Running it is Green. And uh, David Green is tackled there by Foster and Miles. 32 metres out from the east line. Sorensen. Mark Wheeler, who's done a tremendous amount of defensive work for East, is back on his feet, the number nine. Getting back into the play. This is Dunn. Oh, gee, he got a good ball down to Kevin Hastings. And Hastings is tackled by Foster. And a penalty to East. He pinched Foster for the, uh, for the incident. Foster says, no way in the world it was my fault, as he walks back apologetically to his teammates. But Scott Gale will find the line. And of course, we're getting into the stage of the cup final where if you can just put your nose in front, determination, discipline can drive you on to the, to the finishing line. Sorensen almost getting through then, Bill. Eastern Suburbs are up in the end of the field they'd like to be. I don't know whether they'll settle for a field goal and then work maybe on another one later, but at least they're in kicking territory should they be given a penalty. This is McKellar. He threw a tackle. He threw a space. He's inside the quarter. McKellar, the captain. He's pulled down three metres away and the ball has been lost. So near and yet so far for Eastern Suburbs. McKellar's had a great game tonight. He's been a great broken field runner. On that occasion, he kicked clear of two or three Brisbane defenders, saw the try line in front of him, pinned his ear back, but he just couldn't go on with it, and now he's down injured. This is Paulson tackled about three metres out from his own line. Meninga passes. Dangerous practice that close to your line in front of your uprights. Brian Niebling now has rucked it 12 metres away. He plays it. And now it's Gene Miles getting in close to the play. Pulled down by Hastings. McKellar back on his feet after going so close to scoring. Wally Lewis decides to get it out of there. A well-placed kick falling back as David Green to the 22 line, his own end of the ground. Atkins goes with him. Here's Green going diagonally across the field and has pulled down a few metres on his own side of the halfway. Brisbane leading in the National Panasonic Cup final by 6-5. to five. Sorensen to Dunn. Dunn takes it up 10 metres into uh, Brisbane territory. Artie Beetson, the coach for East in 85, I'm sure would be happy with this man with the ball, Mark Wheeler, and previous to that with that uh, young front row forward, Paul Dunn. As Sorensen takes it ahead, He's 30 metres from the Brisbane line. The underdogs, Eastern Suburbs, gamely coming back into that area where they really must play this game. Hastings on a run around out to Atkins, and Atkins is driven back in the tackle. The tackle of Bob Linder. Hastings a dummy half, spins it away for Eden. Eden chips, and oh, a beautiful ball for Gale, but it's back to Dowling. Dowling gives it away. in the hands of Meninga. Meninga shrugging off a high tackle, getting it back to Bob Linder, cut down around the bootlaces by Ernie Garland. That was 
very adventurous play by Brisbane. They'd only just assumed possession back from after an Eastern Suburbs mistake, and I was really surprised that they started to uh, launch an attack as quickly as they did. They're certainly not trying to settle play at all, and I think that Bob McCarthy would be, be a bit concerned about that sort of play, which we've seen time and time again from which is just inability to control the ball. Paul Dunn to play it, just a couple of metres on the east side of the halfway line. Punch back for Wheeler, steps off his left, tries to swerve, but is well and truly nailed by the Brisbane defence line. Linda again prominent with Paulson. Now Sorensen, this is Regan. Regan, low and high they take him. Dowling up the top, Fullerton Smith the, around the legs. Just one point the difference. 6-5 to Brisbane as Sorensen continues to leave his mark firmly on the National Panasonic Cup final. He's having a whale of a game, Dane Sorensen. On the fifth tackle, it'll be played back for Garland to give away to uh, Gale to kick. And there it goes, down into the inside, the 22 area. Rebo's got it. Rebo with that ring of defence. Oh, he's gone straight through McKellar. He's outside the 32. A long, long run by Rebo. Away from Atkins and taken by David Green. Rebo always tries to beat his man on the outside, and there we can see he tried it twice. The first time he was successful, he went around the first defender, tried it on again around Graham, uh, again the second defender that was Graham Atkins, and was finally pushed, pushed over the sideline. So the scrub, just on the east side of the halfway, and that's a very big push by Brisbane, and they've won their second scrum against the feed, and this is Tony Curry, who's pulled down about 28 metres out from the eastern suburbs line. Brisbane with Meninga to Lewis and then it's gone on to Miles and the big international centre is in the score. Eastern Suburbs could no longer deny them with Gene Miles under the uprights bringing a smile to the face of Bobby McCarthy. But what can one say except that they have been trying for a long, long time to put it on. And eventually, this man who's been threatening to do it, Gene Miles, is in to score to give them the simplest of conversion attempts. It was good play by Wally Lewis because he did throw the ball into a gap, but it was also a good play by Gene Miles because if we were to have a, another view of that, Eastern Suburbs always had equal numbers in defence, but Miles just got deep, faded off and hit onto a hole, and of course he's now scored the try under the posts. So the attempted conversion from Meninga right in front Brisbane leading by 10 to 5 and successful from Mal Meninga so Brisbane lead in the cup final by 12 points to 5 now we'll see what these roosters are made of can they strike back Eden starts it Curry bungles it and he's tackled by Dunn and by Regan. This is Dowling. And if there is a fault in the Eastern Suburbs performance tonight, it is that the defence line is not going up and meeting the attack line. They're waiting for them to come to them. Gary Worth gets ready for East on the sidelines. Miles having a blinder tonight. That's Muller, back for Garland. And Garland's been waiting for a pass like that all night. I don't think he expected to get it from Brisbane. Ferguson's the dummy half. Out for Gale. They've got to stretch it hard to the right. Leggett's overrun it. Eden picks it up. He's ruled knocked backwards. It's with Atkins now. The ball was going in the right direction from the eastern suburbs, but some un uncertain passing failed to get it there when the situation arose. Wheeler now. Done. Eden dummy half, a good back line, very deep, Gale, Hastings, Sorensen, Hastings, cut out pass, Green, beautifully executed play, Green down to the 22 line, that was good stuff by uh, Eastern Suburbs, here's the last now, Sorensen may kick himself, there goes the kick from Dane Sorensen, high, Lewis is underneath it, oh, but somebody's got in his road, it's uh, with Hastings, but he's ruled a knock-on against Kevin Hastings, he's ruled a knock-on, 
see it again. And Lewis looked like he'd called it, but then up they went, they put it down. And I think you'll find in there, in the, in the exchange, it came off the arm of an Eastern Suburbs player. So Brisbane have won the scrum. It's played by their half Foster. To the open side goes Fullerton Smith. He's tackled in the centre of the ground by Dunn. Gets a pass away and Miles is tackled. About 12 metres out from his line. Seven minutes of the third quarter remaining. Across now and taking it out is Dowling. About five metres inside the 22. Lewis. Richard Paulson. Paulson, of course not a member of the Queensland State of Origin side. He is, I think, a memory of New South Wales North Coaster. This is Miles, held by Dunn. There's been a lot of suggestions that he'll be coming to Sydney to play next year and be following the, uh, the Queensland coach Arthur Beetson to Eastern Suburbs. Played by Miles to Lewis. He kicks it out on the full by Lewis. He was felled after he kicked it. I'm just waiting. The referee said, I saw it. No penalty, and he's putting the scrum down. Gale puts it in. And a penalty to East. That's against the halfback Foster, I think you'll find, for not retiring. No, he's ruled collapsing, getting down in the scrum, in fact, against the Brisbane front row. Now McKellar's to come off, and Gary Worth will go on in 14. McKellar hasn't been any good since he fell a couple of metres short of scoring, and then he was beaten badly by Rebo. 12-5, Brisbane leading. Garland. Just a few metres out from the Brisbane line. Sorensen to Gale. Second man, done. It's a Parramatta move, if ever you've seen one repeated. In fact, I can still see them scoring the same try at, uh, try at Brookie last year. Out to Gale, onto Eden. Steps off the right, gets back inside. Still going, Eden. And pulled down two metres out. Eastern Suburbs. Can they come back? They're trailing by seven. Ferguson tries to dance through himself, but he'll play the ball. Still two metres away, Eden, Garland, Hastings, Dunn, Dunn, can he pass? Yes, Hastings, Hastings steps, Lewis has got him, five tackles gone, three metres out from the line. Now it'll be for Scott Gale to kick, I would think, he's behind the play, here's Gale in seven, Lewis has gone for the charge down, it's in the air, they come down with it, Leggett's raked it back, it's a try, no! Can you go? This was the bomb from Scott Gale. You'll find that the referee has ruled it came off the blonde-headed fellow Leggett. When he lost it, it went forward. No doubts about that. And the try fairly and squarely disallowed by referee Chris Ward. 12-5, Brisbane in front still then. They're getting a big push in the scrum, Brisbane. That's the main reason why they've won two against the head. And here they are with the ball with Foster. Blindside. Eight metres out from their line. This man is Linda. Linda. Ooh, that was a little bit suspect from Regan, getting that left knee up. Now Lewis. Meninga. Niebling. On the corner and away. East just slowly but surely falling off tackles, not moving up. Lewis. So with five tackles, again, they've been able to make 35 metres. And East get a penalty. East getting the penalty against Lewis for not playing the ball. Well, the crowd roaring. Obviously a very partisan crowd here at Leichhardt. Rooting for Eastern Suburbs. What did he 
get in for Bill for holding the East player down? Yeah, he was. It was a very experienced professional play by Wally Lewis. He was throwing the legs out as much as to say they won't let me up at the same time he was holding the Eastern Suburbs player, ensuring that he couldn't get up. And uh, good decision by Chris Ward to award it uh, against uh, Lewis and give it to Eastern Suburbs. Here's Regan. Very important time of the match, Ray. Three, three minutes before the end of this third quarter. And, uh, they've Eastern lost it, Bill. Yes, East have lost the ball, and uh, they've just got to try and get it back and get points on the board now. I think Brisbane can hold on if they go on with this scoreline into the last quarter. Dowling, pull down, scoreline 12-5 in favour of the combined Brisbane team. That's Paulson. Mark Wheeler is cramped. The East number nine. Why wouldn't he be? He's done a tremendous amount of work. Wheeler, he's been one of the best players on the field and he's, his tackle sheet must be up in the high 30s, 40s. Foster, pulled down by Sorensen and Gale. Five tackles gone. Back for Lewis. He kicks, splitting fullback and winger. Ferguson will have to hurry. John Ferguson coming to the 22. Takes a look over the shoulder at Atkins. Takes the tackle. 90 seconds of the third quarter remaining. Yeah, I'd be inclined to spread the ball if I was Eastern Suburbs. I think we've got a chance out wide. Well, there it is, just like you asked, but Green has come back into the middle of the traffic and he's tackled just outside the quarter. Played back to Eden. And now this is Gary Worth, who scored a try from memory in the semi-final against the Saints. Sorensen. I can't heap enough rap raps on Dane Sorensen for his efforts tonight been very very solid through Gale Regan played with a lot of guts Regan he and Wheeler have done some tremendous the tackles Hastings and that kick is well placed getting down to Rebo now though Brisbane by seven Rebo went around Worth very easily. Once again, you can see an example of how Rebo always uses the sideline and goes to, around his man on the outside. Scott Gale had to make the tackle, and he's down injured now, Scott Gale. To the blind side, they hammer. It's Fullerton Smith. Just outside the East 22 line. Now it's Foster. Lewis. Foster. Dowling. A long ball out to Linda. And Linda is tackled by Leggett. About 15 out from the East line. Can Brisbane score before the third quarter break? From Lewis, it's gone to Neebly. Goes for the pass out to Kilroy. He turns it infield. Taken by Curry. Given to Lewis. Lewis puts it up. Getting underneath it is uh, Garland or Dunn. Dunn it is. It's still a chance for Brisbane. And Atkins has to clear it over the dead ball line with the kick. And that's the end of the third quarter with Brisbane leading Eastern Suburbs by 12 points to five. And we'll be back for the last quarter in just... Suburb side, just on three-quarter time, Scott Gale was injured. And he limped from the field as they went to the third quarter break. Now, both former Cronulla players, Gavin Miller and Steve Hardy, are on the field. The other East player off is, Scott Fer is uh, John Ferguson as Eden kicks off for the last 20 minutes. It's down and taken by Curry. And it's with Gene Miles now, who, to my way of thinking, has been one of the stronger Brisbane players tonight. He plays it on the 22 line. Meninga gains another seven or eight metres. Miller and Hardy, the replacements on for Eastern Suburbs, both very skillful players. This is Richard Paulson, and he got away from Leggett, and he goes on down inside the east half. It's with Wally Fullard and Smith, the pass over the top to Rebo. But the referee will have to order the scrum for the ball going forward. And a scrum about 18 metres out from the east line. With those changes that Eastern Suburbs have made, it'll be interesting to see where the players line up. It would appear that Eden's gone out into the centre position and Green's gone onto the wing. Beautifully clear night in Sydney. Crisp, but certainly a, a beautiful August night. In fact, there she is, the big, the big ball of cheese looking down on us. And now the referee has been told by his touch judge of an incident that occurred back up ground. He's showing him the spot on the ground where the incident is alleged to have happened. And a penalty has gone to Brisbane. 
Oh, there it is. See it in the back play? When one of the Brisbane players was held back from supporting the ball carrier. And that's a good piece of work by the touch judge. As Brisbane come up with the penalty. And uh, the tap will be taken 32 metres up. With Rebo taking it ahead to the quarter line. But East defence is looking very tired to me. Has been for the last 20 minutes. It's slowly but surely starting to fall apart. Yes, and the Brisbane players would be recognising that. I'm just wondering if they'd like to keep the scoreboard ticking over with a field goal or if they think they can come up with a try against the tired Eastern Suburbs defence. Play back to Rebo. On now for Foster, a short ball, and it's uh, to a player in an offside position, and a penalty goes to Eastern Suburbs. That was the pass. Not much in it, but the referee has ruled that it was given to a player in an offside position. 12-5 in favour of Brisbane as Kevin Hastings kicks for touch. And the tap will be taken just a few metres on the east side of halfway. He's watching this last quarter with me as a youngster going through a little bit of the misfortunes that Fiona Coote did and he's been visited in hospital by the East players young Scotty Campbell he's watching the game with us the last 20 minutes and I hear a lot of people bagging rugby league players but the East boys they went out to Scott in hospital and visited him and they brought him out to the ground tonight and Mike Eden summed it up when he said to Scott we'll do our best for you if you do your best for us and they've done their best Scott Regan takes it ahead and then is hit by Miles it's a pass away for Wheeler. And Wheeler is tackled about three metres into Brisbane's area. Dummy half is only Garland. It's gone to Kevin Hastings and across to Gavin Miller. He holds the ball back as the defence got between him and Steve Hardy. And Miller was, of course, with the Cronulla side, and so was Hardy in the 83 Cup final against Manly. Gary Worth now, five metres into... Brisbane's area and we're on the fifth tackle as it comes back and uh, Hastings puts it up high Lewis is back there and Lewis has put it down he was tackled kicked ahead by Regan there's a chance on can Regan put it down I think he may give it I think he's gonna give it yes he's given a try to Regan well the Eastern Suburbs fans are rejoicing the red white and blue are celebrating at the moment. They would be able to hear them back at the junction. Regan, simply by persistence and nothing else, followed through. Lewis tries to take it. He loses it. He's tackled legitimately. Regan kicks ahead. Now let's watch it. Inch by inch. It definitely wasn't forced there, but there's the try scorer. In my opinion, the number 17 has scored the try, and that is Steve Hardy. Well, it was a speculator kick by Kevin Hastings, and here we can see that Wally Lewis is human. He, he does drop the ball on occasions. The ball's towed ahead after the error by Terry Regan. But, Ray, I think that Chris Ward's uh, awarded Regan the try under the post rather than the second knockdown. Let's look for it here. Regan goes for successful. the ball. Regan goes for the ball, and I think that he's awarded the try on the first one, which was Terry Regan, rather than the second. Well... Terry Regan has now been brought from the field, injured, or should I say exhausted. The kick for goal successful from Eden, and Brisbane lead by one point. 12-11 the score. Darren Finlayson is on for Eastern Suburbs. And now the crowd is really pumped up and cheering for Eastern Suburbs to come back against this champion side from Brisbane. 12-11. Brisbane in front by a point. Regan being spoken to by the East uh, doctor as young Paul Dunn goes ahead. 11 metres on the east side of the halfway line. Away from dummy half goes Wheeler. Wheeler's tackled. As Eastern Suburbs throw down the final trumps that they've got in their hand. Hastings, a dummy from Miller, turned into the middle for Garland. Garland goes ahead. 
about nine metres into Brisbane's area. And Brisbane will be well aware now that they can't give penalties in their own territory because Mike Eden is just as likely to pull this cup final out of the fire. And if the Eastern Suburbs players were looking tired before, they've found a new reservoir of strength in the last few minutes after that try. Sorensen bulldogging his way ahead. And that's five gone. Here comes the bomb. Pass from Hardy to Hastings. The kick and the chase. Not much pressure there. Curry takes it and is pulled down by Leggett. Well, what a cup final this is turning out to be. Lebo, out of one, taken in the second. 12-11, Brisbane having scored two tries to one. Meninga, outside the 22 line. Leaving an East player injured. Wheeler is down again injured. Lewis through one and outside the 32 line. Well, French is on the sideline for Brisbane in jumper number 17. Foster is tackled on five. And it's the outside backs and inside backs that are doing the work for Brisbane. We firstly saw Lewis hit the ball up, then Foster hit the ball up, and I think the Brisbane forwards are going to have to get their game in shape now in the last 10 minutes of this match and get in and do some of the hard slogging work, or this one's going to get away from them. Atkins, safe under pressure, still going, Graham Atkins. He's uh, tackled 10 metres on his side of the halfway. The big kick was put in by Miles. Brisbane must keep Eastern Suburbs in their territory and then tackle. The game cannot be played in their own half, not when you're playing against the Mike Edens of this world. From Garland to Dunn. Outstanding performance by this young crop forward. He's put his head in, head in there against Dowling and Paulson, and he's played well. Hastings, Gavin Miller, Hastings, a dummy, and Leggett is taken very heavily by Mal Meninga. Play on the halfway, tackle number five, the kick coming from Hastings, and he drops it onto the left foot, and the scrum will go down. 13 metres on Brisbane side of the halfway. Ian French goes on in 17 for Brisbane. Brian Niebling will come from the field. Boy, oh boy. I think the majority of people came to Leichhardt tonight expecting to see an easy victory for the Brisbane team. But so often have we seen underdogs in cup finals lift themselves to a, a level that not even they believe they could uh, probably elevate themselves to. Played by Foster, French it is, pulled down by Hastings, and I guess Bobby McCarthy, the Brisbane coach, he'd be, he'd be chewing the nails at the moment. He's going down, I'd say, to talk to another reserve. Laurie Fryer has pressed all his torpedoes. They're all out there, the four reserves. Bobby has got French out there. He had to use Curry, so he'd have two freshmen that he can still use as Rebo comes across the ground. That's five gone for Brisbane. They're going to have to put the big kick in. It's Brisbane a penalty. Well, that's, that's just simply a case of inexperience from Garland giving a penalty on the last. So the scoreline, though it's just one point in favour of Brisbane, a 12 all draw, of course, would be no good to Eastern Suburbs. A drop goal would simply bring them level, but Brisbane would still be in front on the penalty or on the uh, try scoring count back of two tries to one. So we've lost a football. I think somebody from Eastern Suburbs has said, I've got it and you're not getting it back. As I mentioned earlier, the voting in the Man of the Match Award will be announced during the presentation of the Cup. And that will lead, of course, to the announcement of the Superstar Award for 84. And following the presentation of trophies, we'll bring you the replay tonight of the Commonwealth Bank Cup Final, played between two great young rugby league sides from two good schools, St Gregory's of Campbelltown and Christian Brothers of Lewisham. They've done very well, the uh, Christian Brothers of Lewisham, this year. They got there against the odds. Well, I'm sitting watching my 11th Cup final as a commentator, and I, I can't remember two that have... Uh, I can't remember too many that have gone down to the wire in uh, a spine-tingling finish like this one. I think I remember a 6-5 when West knocked East off back in 76. That was a beauty. 
Now this man is Muller, the hooker, in Brisbane now. With the ball is Lewis, on the run around Paulson, and he's put it down. Bad news for Brisbane is Dowling's down in the back play, and uh, I just don't think that he can get back onto his feet. It's tiredness coupled with an injury. So it's East now, with Sorensen out to the quarter line. They're grinding away to the last whistle from the referee, and there's not going to be much in it when they, when they call a halt to this one. Dunn takes it ahead, looks to unload, as he has done all night. Tackled by Miles. Played back to Garland, to Hastings, and now to Finlayson. And a driving defence from Brisbane. Holt's Eastern Suburbs. Dowling coming from the field, I do believe. Penalty to East. And Bob Kellaway will go on for the Brisbane side. Kellaway, a giant of a man. And the trainer's trying to get Dowling back to his feet. I've been watching him for five or ten minutes and, you know, he's gone and there's just no value in leaving him on. He may well be an international player, but even internationals aren't any value to you unless they've got two legs. So Kevin Hastings finds the line for Eastern Suburbs. Just eight minutes of the cup final remaining. Dunn going as strong now as he was at the start. Hastings turning it back into the middle for Sorensen. Sorensen to the halfway, and uh, the Kiwi International asked to play the ball. Dummy half Finlayson, and coming up is Wheeler. He's been down injured that many times, Mark Wheeler. I thought he, he'll have to be taken off, but he's now in a situation where his coach hasn't got any replacements. He's just tackled himself to a standstill, and 17 is Hardy. He spins out of a tackle, and but he's held about three metres into Brisbane territory. That attempted tackle was by Dowling, and that's a tackle that he would normally make easily, except for the circumstances where he's injured. He's just got to come off the field. Dunn getting a pass away, but it's gone to the Brisbane team. Paul Dunn realising that he's got to squeeze balls out. He's got to squeeze out the pass that probably he wouldn't want to do normally, but it's just got to be now. Minutes are ticking away, seven to go. Brisbane by a point, and they've coughed it up, and it'll be a scrum. Just on the eastern suburb side of the halfway. So timeout will probably be called with a player down at the point of the scrum. Now Dunn gets to his feet. Penalties are 11 8 to East. The scrums are 6 3 to Brisbane. And here's East winning a scrum. Atkins hits the back line. He's held on the halfway. The crowd roars for a high tackle. The referee dismisses their appeal. It goes across through Finlayson to Miller. Miller to Eden. Eden to Leggett. Leggett's going down. About 15 metres into Brisbane territory. Not held. Now he's tackled. They must stretch the ball to the right and fast. Hastings, Miller, Eden, Hardy. Dunn's on his outside. Little Hardy, oh, Steve Hardy, I should say, tries to make the break. Little Steve Hardy, you're kidding. He's, he's quite a big lad of a lad. Dunn now comes back towards the middle. 25 metres out from the Brisbane line. Play in the centre. Sorensen. Sorensen takes them on again. And he's reached the 22, Sorensen. They're still wide to the left and the right. This is the last tackle, though. It's come out to Gavin Miller. There goes the bomb. Off the left foot. Back into the middle. The uh, man under his curry. He's got it. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> this, this telecast going through to our, our good friends in Brisbane tonight, and I reckon they might not have any uh, nails left because it's a real nail-biter. And Tony Curry gave them good cause to right there. As Brisbane cling to a one-point lead, I sure hope you're enjoying this exclusive sports special out of Leichhardt. And look at that for leading by, sorry Ray, look at that for leading by example. Wally Lewis, the Brisbane and Australian captain, took the ball one off the ruck, powered 15 metres forward as much as to say, that's how you do it, now get in and do it. So it's just outside the 22 line. Brisbane are on their last tackle now. It's played back to Rebo, given to Gene Miles. There's that big kick. Atkins is under it. He'll take David Green up with him. Atkins, outside 32, coming to the 45 line, or coming to the 40 metre line, and he's cut down by Bob Linder. Played back to David Green, a dummy half run, and he's about five metres short of the halfway. Eastern Suburbs, have they got a kick left in them? They're trailing by a point. We're inside the last five. Dane Sorensen, Gavin Miller, a jink, and then he tries to step, but he can't get through. Dummy half Dane Sorensen. 
That would be their third tackle, or is it their second? It's now with Finlayson. Right on the halfway, that's the fourth tackle. Dane Sorensen again to dummy half. Kevin Hastings calls it. Sorensen runs it. And a big run by the Kiwi International. Takes him 12 metres into Brisbane's area. Hastings wants it now. Here he is with the kick. Looking for the flankers on the left. Eden leads the chase. Curry's underneath it. He's taken it. He's lost it. He's got it. They've got six more. It's with Wheeler. Wheeler's tackle. 11 metres out from the Brisbane line. Eastern suburbs need to come to the left and fast. It's played and it's dived on. Six more tackles, but that's given Brisbane a chance to regroup. It's with Mike Eaton, Hastings. Now it's out to Gavin Miller. Holds it up, gets it to Leggett. Leggett's tackled 15 metres out from the Brisbane line. Dummy half again as Gavin Miller goes for a dummy half settle. Then he hits them, gives it back to Leggett. Leggett tries to dance around them, but he's tackled by the uh, fullback. Tony Curry, or was he in French, I should say. Out with Paul Dunn, he hits them 10 metres out. This one is going right down to the wire. Played back to Garland, off to Hastings, onto Eden. Now Wheeler's coming up, the grubber kick off a Brisbane player. Eden's got it. Six more tackles for Eastern Suburbs. How much more can Brisbane withstand? The time is uh, running out for East. They've got to make the break shortly. This is Gary Worth now. 15 out. Worth will play it. Dummy half is Hardy. He goes himself Hardy. Tackled about eight metres away from the Brisbane line. And a knock on. A knock on by the Roosters. By Gary Worth. And a scrum will pack. Oh, talk about excitement. Well, if ever East needed a scrum against the feed, this is the one they want. And they all but got it. How many minutes to go, Peter? Two and a half, we reckon. Two and a half minutes, we reckon. Easter penalty! Oh, my goodness! How much more can Brisbane take? They lead by a point. A differential penalty to East. Whilst ever this play, though, is inside Brisbane's territory, the pressure is not just there in turning them back in tackles, you can't give a penalty. Well, at this stage of the year, Eastern Suburbs would have had plenty of training sessions. I've got no doubt that they'd have one special move they've worked on and had some success with. And if there is ever a time to pull out your best try scoring move, this is it. Well, Sorensen plays it. The dummy to the decoy open. They've gone blind and here's Dunn. Gets a ball down. Hastings gets a pass away. Uh, that's Steve Hardy in 17. He's two metres away. He could see the line. He could see the paycheck of 120,000. But he couldn't get it down. It's played. It's come left for Sorensen. And Sorensen is tackled. Three metres out. He'll play the ball back for Finlayson. It's on wide to the left-hand side. Ray, if they can get it there, they've got three on one. Cut out ball by Leggett. Hastings, Eden. Hastings on the inside. Wheeler on the outside. He's taken. Gets it back to Hastings. It's gone down to Miller. Miller back to Hastings. Hastings to Eden. Eden is taken. Eastern Suburbs throwing everything bar the Eastern Suburbs Leaks Club at the Brisbane team at the moment. The bomb's on from Miller. He gets it up. Miller's bomb. Was he tackled late? It's down and it's with Eastern Suburbs. They've got six more tackles and they go for the line. Finlayson is two metres out. Brisbane courageously hanging on to a point lead. A long ball away and that's a great tackle. A great tackle by Meninga. This has been mammoth defence by Brisbane. There must be something like 20 to 26 tackles now and they've just kept, kept throwing themselves into tackle after tackle. There have been try scoring opportunities for Eastern Southern but so far they've been able to cover up. How long can they keep doing it? Paul Dunn held by three Brisbane defencemen. I would say we're inside the last 60 seconds, surely. Gavin Miller, Michael Eden, Michael Eden, Kevin Hastings, he has dropped it. It's gone forward. The pass has gone forward. Well, just uh, as well for Kevin Hastings, good. the pass did go forward because he dropped it over the line and, and that saved any problems on Kevin's behalf. I was telling you about young Scott Campbell. Laurie Fryer's head is sunken as the hopes of the East fans across Australia have gone down with him. I was telling you about 
young Scotty Cam. They've won a scrum against the feed. How much can Brisbane take? Now they've got six more tackles against them. Hastings to play up. Dummy half Sorensen. Out through Hardy. The bell's on gone. Miller. The siren has gone. Miller goes for the line. Garland's got it to Sorensen. There's the siren. It's over. Brisbane have won it. Brisbane have won the cup final. My goodness, and don't they deserve it? withstood something like 24 tackles in the last exchanges of this unbelievably exciting cup final. Well, I was telling you about young Scotty Campbell, <laughs> an 11-year-old with a problem, as did Fiona Kurt. He watched this last 20 minutes with it, with us. He, has, he hasn't budged. He's as cool as a cucumber. Well, I guess many of us should be going for treatment. Tremendous game of football, won by Brisbane. They thoroughly deserved their victory. They scored two tries to one. But goodness gracious me, did they take a hammering in the last five minutes. I'd love to know how many tackles they had to turn around. It was only punctuated by a scrum and a penalty. And if you remove those punctuations to the play, I think you'd find they had to turn something like 30 tackles away or make 30 tackles to nullify and blunt the attack. It's a happy Wally Lewis. It's a tremendously happy Brisbane side waiting for the presentation of trophies. But more importantly, I, I think that Eastern Suburbs would be tremendously happy even with their defeat tonight. It's worth $83,000 to them. But what they have got, and this must be uppermost at all times, I do believe, They've got their pride. And how, Bill Anderson? Well, they certainly have. It was a great effort by Eastern Suburbs. I, they came into the match as rank outsiders. They weren't given any chance. It was one stage of the match. I thought they were going to get away with it. They fought back again after looking like all was lost at the end of the third quarter. And those last few minutes of the match was some of the best football you'd ever want to, ever want to see. It was football at its best. The whole crowd on the end of the seat. OK, we'll take a break and be back for the presentation of trophies in just a moment. So welcome back to Leichhardt Oval and the time now comes for the presentation of the inaugural National Panasonic Cup to the champions for 1984, the combined Brisbane team. And they'll be coming up the stairway for the presentation of the cup and the individual trophies plus a check for $120,000. Let's give them a real Leichhardt Oval and Sydney reception, the victorious Brisbane side. The cup will be presented by Mr. Michael Cleary, Minister for Sport and Recreation. And the individual trophies by Mr. Kerry Sullivan, the New South Wales State Manager for National Panasonic, together with Mr. Tom Bellew, President of the New South Wales Rugby League, and representing Channel 10, Mr. Jerry Brooks. And so here he is, Captain Wally Lewis. What a great year for him. Australian captaincy. And now National Panasonic Cup victory. He holds the cup aloft, flanked at the rear by Mr. John McGuire as well from National, who's been a great inspiration to us all in the conduct of the cup in 84. And there he is, the man affectionately called King Wally in one of his proudest moments. Also at the rear of Mr. Cleary is Mr. John O'Toole representing the Country Rugby League. His side this year went very well in the shape of the New South Wales Combined Country Team. So the Brisbane players filing through now. Wally Fullard and Smith and their Senator Ron McAuliffe. What a proud man he must be. What a proud man he would be. I often ask myself the question, who is most responsible for this tremendous dominance currently held north of the border? That man with the cup, or the man immediately to his right, Ron McCall. A very happy but a very tired Wally Lewis. Fullerton Smith, Darling, Niebling, Kilroy, Linda and Muller and so it goes on as the Brisbane players go through here we have the man of the match voting for you as voted by the press writers of Sydney and Brisbane one point went to East front rower Paul Dunn two points to East front rower Dane Sorensen three points in match to Wally Lewis 
That now means that Wally Lewis has taken out the man of the match in the cup final and also becomes the national Panasonic superstar and he takes out a prize worth $20,000 in national Panasonic product. And so the Brisbane side leaves the presentation dais as press photographers from around Australia capture tomorrow morning's back page sports pictures. A chance for me at this stage to thank our ground patrons for their attendance at the 84 Cup Final and look forward to seeing you as our Winfield Cup Premiership winds down here in Sydney in the weeks to come. Well, now let's take you down to the dressing rooms. The players have filed...